What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Emerge NYC for Monday. It's Emergency Monday. It's a new week. I hope you guys had a great weekend. We're back at it on Montgomery County, and we're doing a yet another viewer request, this time for some uh, more forestry service, some more brush fires. Uh, we're going to be doing the brush trucks and the forestry service trucks and all that good stuff. As you can see, we have a really, really large uh, brush fire across the valley here. So we're heading that way in the Stillwater um, brush truck. We'll get over there and uh, see what it looks like and get some other units in maybe. All right, let's uh, get the siren going here with the rumbler. Very nice. I wonder, does it, does it not have a rumbler? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, you can uh, change that with G. So pretty cool either way. All right, we should be there shortly. Like I said, it's uh, it's some start of the week, guys. I hope you guys are having a great start. Uh, mine was kind of dragging this Monday, just a little bit. <laughs> like, I was dragging this morning. I've been a little under the weather, so I, it's definitely it was hard to get motivated and get going this morning. But uh, much better now. Now that I have, I think the kids uh, the kids had a better job getting motivated and going than I did. All right, let's see. I see a lot of smoke. Uh, I don't see many flames, if any at all, here. Here we got. And we're going to, have to start thinking about water supplies as well. I don't know what this is. Okay, yeah, we got some flames down there. All right, what are you doing, dude? Interesting. No horn on this truck. I thought it did, but it's not working, or uh, it, either it doesn't have one. All right, what do we got? Uh, we got this subdivision up here. I know it has uh, it has hydrants, so we could use that as an option. Let's get on up here and see what we have. All right, so the fire's threatening this house here. We're going to have to see about uh, protecting it, maybe. We're going to get on up here. Wow, this train is like really, really rough. Let's get up here and see if we can do something real fast. There we go. That's it. Let's do it. Let's get some water on it. Let's see if we can get this put out at least a little bit right here. Try to uh, protect this home. Doesn't look like we're having much luck though. There we go. We put the water on the trees and we always get that weird sound effect. I, I don't know why. It, it just, it puzzles me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's starting to spread. Just a little bit. And this thing's got a, uh, it's got a fair amount of water on it. Like, if we could get this right here, I think we'd be set. There we go. Nice. All right, there we go. At least we saved the home a little bit. Okay, let's hold tight right here and uh, let's jump in some more vehicles. Let's do that. All right, our next trick is going to be the forestry service engine. And I think we're going to take out the hotshot buggy as well. We'll need the tanker. It's the only thing about leaving out from right here is it takes so long to get over there. Like it takes a really long time. So I'm sure we'll uh, we'll catch up over there in a bit. All right, we're almost there with the uh, forestry service engine. We'll get this guy staged, and I think what we'll do after that is uh, get the tanker. So we're going to be doing more Emerge NYC this week, of course. Like I said, we always do at least uh, Monday and Friday, sometimes Wednesday as well, too. We've got a lot of requests left to do. We had someone uh, request uh, 214 on the Brooklyn map, 214 new, and uh, I think we've had a request for a high-rise fire as well. So uh, that's all stuff we're going to be looking at and working on uh this week so stay tuned we got a lot more uh, a lot more stuff to do all right this guy is here let's jump in uh the tanker now we'll bring him over actually you know what scratch that on the tanker we're going to take engine one and set him up on that uh, hydrant in the residential area and uh then we might be able to relay from this guy to uh 
another maybe the quint or something along the road and then uh we could just we could do a lot more out there so i think that's what we're going to do we'll get the tanker in a bit because i noticed like i was going to take the tanker over there and i was like that's pretty dang close to a hydrant already like there's no point in having the tanker there we need to put him somewhere remote so we'll do that in a minute all right here's our favorite hairpin yes and there's the car <laughs> i'm telling you guys it never fails a car just the car spawner just waits until we get through that turn there and then it decides to spawn one it never fails right look at there our, the the air horn is so strong it just blew those boxes off the shelf over there in the in the uh auto repair shop man that looks pretty bad from here wow Holy crap, it is going. <laughs> it's really going good over there. Yeah, okay. So I think this is going to work out for us right here. We'll park this guy down by the hydrant. All right, sweet. Let's get him here. And I think we'll bring the Quint and we'll put him up um, on the road there. Let's see, is this our, uh, this is our supply line on the front? Yes. Get you. All right, let's grab our hydrant wrench, get him going. Drop you there and let's go ahead and you know what? We'll grab the Quint. Let's do the Quint next. I really, I really miss the uh, AI features on this map. They're really handy. They're handy. And I don't know, like, I'm curious as to how AI, uh, the new AI update is going to pan out on the Montgomery County map. Uh, hopefully, I'm really hoping ultimately one of these days down the road, you're going to kind of see some standardization between Montgomery County and the rest of the maps. Because as I said before, to me, it really just kind of feels like you're playing two separate games uh, as far as like... Uh, you know there's no real standardization between uh some of the ui and and features and stuff like that so all right let's get this guy down there pronto al dente yeah there's our car i'm telling you guys right now the spawner waits Every time the spawner waits without fail. There, right, there we go. Yeah, she is raging. She is raging for certain. People have asked, Spur, do you do the flying stuff? No, I don't. I've never tried it. I'm not a keyboard and mouse kind of flying person. Like, that is going to be a failure on an epic scale. So, <laughs> I haven't even attempted it or tried it. Probably won't. I don't know. Maybe one day. I'd, I'd have to play around with it a little bit and see. I wonder, can we even, like, can we set up the Quint on this? I'm, I'm curious. I, I wonder how it's going to do on the, uh, the ground. We'll see. See what she does. So far, so good. Yeah, that seems all right. That seems okay. All right, let's run a relay to the Quint. And yeah, roads closed, guys. Y'all might have to go another way. We got to uh, we got stretch lines and all that good stuff here. Yeah, let's get some line pulled out here. That should be good. All right, let's go to the other side. Oh, we can't hook up to that. Okay, never mind. This is a little different. They so had the uh, connections on the opposite side as well, but it doesn't. All right, let's get our. Uh, why are we not pumping water? We need to pump water. Where are we? Uh, there we go. Sweet. Now we've got it pumping. All right, let's get back to the quint. Yeah, dude, you're just gonna have to either wait or go a different way, because I mean, we've got like, it's like Dante's Inferno out here. All right, let's get uh, this pump going as well. 
and I think we're gonna be set now. I hope so. We'll find out, right? Yes, sweet. Okay, yeah, now we're in business. Now we're in business. I think we can start putting a dent in this fire here. At least a little bit. And we got unlimited supply too, so that's really good. We don't have to really worry about water, at least with this setup. Nice, yes, we're making some headway. Damn, look at that. It is just really raging over there. Yeah, keep hitting her with some water. Actually working out pretty good with the uh, ladder because it's giving us a little reach there. Like we can, we can, uh, we can get some range with it. But it doesn't seem like it's having much effect right there. Sometimes it's kind of hard to judge. Like what exactly are we hitting? It's like we're in a general area. Come on, you can do it. I know you want to. Maybe not. And the cool thing is, with the quint, we can pull a line too. We can stretch an attack line. So we can do double the work with this setup. Which is really nice, I, I like that. All right, let's get an attack line, stretch you out. Man, this is a big fire. This is like one of the bigger fires I think we've had. I really do, but unfortunately, like this at this point right here is going to be it for our uh, water access. Like on down the road, I think is where we'll have to put the uh, the tanker. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn, that is not. Yeah, it's unhooking the wrong one. Dog on it. All right, hang on. Get you. And where can we go with this guy? I don't know. Got to do you over here. We don't have a choice. There we go. All right, we've got our inlet. Can we hook up to the front on this one? I don't know if this one has front connection. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Um, damn, where are we going to go? To the back? No, to the side. Okay, over here. There we go. All right, that'll work. And we're going to need a nozzle. Grab us a nozzle. I'm not sure. Where's the nozzle at on here? There we go. All right, we'll hit it and knock it down a little bit. Yeah, we're not quite making it to that. A little bit of fire out there, so. Come on, you know you want to. Going out. This road's like our line of defense. This is where we're really going to be trying to uh, to stop it. I don't think technically, like game-wise, I don't think it's going to spread much from here. I think this is basically it. Damn, we need to get some screenshots too. That's actually pretty sharp there. All right, we've got our screenshots. Let's jump back on the Quint. And let's see if we can do some more damage here with the water. Maybe. It's going good. Yeah, we're going to need more uh, equipment. I think we're going to need still water and all that good stuff as well. All right, let's go ahead and bring the tanker out. Let's do an overview here. Let's see what... Holy crap. Yeah, it's a lot of fire. Damn it. Uh, yeah, guys, it's going to be a while. <laughs> it really... Oh, it's almost up on the house too. Shoot. Uh, yeah, we, we got to go back. We got to go back to the house. Let's get back in the brush truck. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's pull off the uh, off the forestry service truck. Let's do a hand line. I didn't realize it's get out of hand like that. There we go. There's our attack line. All right, come on. We gotta save the house. We're lucky. It's tough. Being a one-man job is tough. Like, uh, it's a lot of stuff to keep up with. Lots of things going on here. 
All right, let's get the other end of the line. Let's put you over here. Now this thing runs out really super fast. I do know that. Hopefully we can kind of stop it a little bit. Let's actually, let's get this by the house here because this is the spot we have to worry about. These brush truck guys, they weren't paying attention. They're were dinking around over here and they let it, <laughs> they let it get up next to the house. Come on. There we go. Now we're making some headway. We're doing it. We're doing it, guys. It would be cool if they had some uh, some of the uh, surplus military trucks that have been repurposed into fire trucks in game. That's like a large bulk of what uh, the town has that I live in. Like it, a large bulk of the trucks are uh, ex-military, so it's kind of neat. And they're all different colors as well too. Some are red, some are pink, some are uh, I think some are green. And then they have, uh, we have a quint. They have a really, really super nice looking quint. Oh, damn, we're out of water. Okay, never mind. All right, let's, uh, let's keep plugging along. We'll get some more equipment out here. All right, we're going to have to call in still water. All right, we're going old school, guys. This is something most definitely you could see at a brush fire for a uh, volunteer fire department. We'll be up there in a minute and uh, we'll use this to contribute as well. I just wish we had more water access. Like we need a lot more water. Without having to ferry it. Like we have the tanker. We need to go ahead and position the tanker too. We'll probably position him on down the road, but. And look at that, it's huge. It's huge. Ah, oh, it's hitting the performance a little bit there too. We're definitely seeing a bit stuttery. It is. I have to start knocking it down. Put a serious dent in it so uh, we can get some of our performance back here. Horse fires are hard to fight it, on this, like, you know, without the AI, it's just, it's a lot to do. Like, you gotta bring equipment, you gotta ferry equipment, and then if you have to uh, ferry water, then you're kind of in trouble. All right, let's park this guy here. All right, let's hop out, and we'll grab an attack line off him. Oh, shoot, we let the siren go, never mind. There we go, now we'll do it. I'm overwhelmed, <laughs> I really am. I'm just overwhelmed, it's so much, so much stuff. We'll do it. All right, we'll, uh, we'll drop you here. And let's grab the, they're in here, get you on this, get our pump going. Nice. All right, we should be good and pick you up. There we go. Hopefully, we'll have some luck. It's always the trees. I'm waiting for that weird sound effect to kick in because it's always on the trees. It's not doing it now, which is uh, kind of surprising, but usually it does. There it is. It had to catch up. I'm really just kind of hoping we can just contain this and then let it do its thing on its own. Like, I, I really think so. Uh, on the back side of the fire is going to be the airport. So we don't really like, I don't have a lot to worry about over there. I'm not going to sweat it too much. There we go, and we're out of water. They run out so fast. People don't realize how quick these things, like how quick they go. 
And then, and then, if you employ a debt gun, holy crap, it's, <laughs> it's like in the blink of an eye, it goes out. Oh, the car is backing up. We need the road blocked off. That is insane. That is so bad. This is the worst by far. This one, this one is bad. Damn it. I thought I did one a while back that was pretty bad, but that one doesn't hold a candle to this one. Like, all right, let's get, uh, let's get a tanker. Get our tanker in. Like, I'm, I'm trying to bring equipment and fight it a little bit and bring equipment and fight it and... Need some frack tanks. Those work out. Uh, those work out really well. They they carry a lot of water. They use those a lot here. All right, I think we're good. Let's go. All right, that's gonna be it for the station. So let's get the door. Let's get out of here. This is a nice tanker. It really just is. Like this thing is pretty sweet. Not like your uh, your typical volunteer hodgepodge of whatever they can get and afford to get and even to run. Wow, wow, really bumpy there. I need to uh, I need to share my pictures of the big uh, head-on uh, train collision they had over in um, Panhandle. I guess it was about 2016 when that happened. Uh, in Panhandle, Texas, and uh, they used a bunch of frack takes. Like that burned for uh, that burned for a day or two, probably putting uh, putting water on that fire. And so they used a bunch of frack tanks and uh, stuff like that. They had like um, uh, I want to say they had uh, you know of course tons and tons of volunteer fire trucks out there. I want to say even the airport the the. Uh, airport in Amarillo had even wound up sending some uh, equipment out there as well. And uh, they just poured water on it. Alright, let's see. And that is so bad. I just can't get over that. I keep saying it. Like, I don't think I've ever seen that much fire on this game. It's literally everywhere. At least the Quint still, Quint's still trucking. All right, here we go. Here's Stillwater 102. So we'll come down here, and um, I think it's to be a good spot to set up. This looks like the furthest end of it. Maybe not. It may actually not be the furthest end of it. It may be a little bit. All right, let's see what we got. That's it. Take it in the grass, buddy. Get out of the way. Y'all shouldn't even be up here. A bunch of rubberneckers. Um. Yeah, I think I want to go back the other way. I think I want to go in front of 102. What would be nice is if we could just drop the draft tank, drop it and fill it and go, but I don't think we can do that. I've tried that before and it I couldn't get it to work. It's like it's part of the truck once you drop it, but it'd be nice to just be able to uh, drop it and go and go get some more water. All right, we'll park her right here. This turned into quite the fire scene. It really just has. Alright, drafting pool. There we go. Now we need to get some water. For this bad boy. And I wonder, can we pull... I never can remember, like, where you pull. Maybe it's on this side. All these trucks are different. I think it's right here. Yeah, that's uh, supply line. Yes, okay. Always different. You never know. All right, there. I think we're good with that. Get her line. Let's start hitting her on this side. This is gonna be a long day, guys. Like this, guys. This is gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be a really long day.
This grass is easy to knock down. I think we can run through and get it really fast. And uh, once we get it contained a little bit, I think then at that point, we're going to have to get start going with like the brush trucks and um, getting on the back side of the fire. I did not know there's a fire this big on here. Some of these brush fires are pretty big, but I don't really think like, I think they pale in comparison to this one. This would be a good one for aerial support, but the time it would take me to try to figure that out and actually like effectively drop water on it, I, I don't think we would be able to. I think it would take a long, long time. All right, we're having some luck. I think what we'll do is we'll get this tree out. Now, if I'm thinking correctly, I, I don't think it'll catch back up on that side. I think that's I think that's pretty much done once you get it out. I don't think it can reignite, at least I'm hoping. Get our tree out. Here's our weird audio effect once again. Uh, I noticed in editing, the last time I did a brush fire, I noticed editing uh, the video that the, the weird audio glitch was only in one channel. It was like left or right, but it wasn't in both. I thought that was kind of uh, odd uh, how that worked out. So no clue what that's about, uh, just, just a bug. Hopefully one of these days they'll get it, uh, they'll get it straightened out. All right, I think um, let's drop this here and, you know, we may get the brush truck. We may go back to the brush truck. We may. Might, she might have a little water left. Yeah, she does. These things seem like they have water for, for days. Like, <laughs> I don't know how they carry so much water, but. All right, let's ease up here. Oh, we got some ricochet. Ah, there goes our water. Yep, I knew it. All right, let's go back to 102. It looks like, luckily, our fire is starting to burn out a little bit. It's starting to, uh, starting to burn itself out. So that's good. I have zero clue as to how to resupply the uh, still water um, brush truck. Like, I'm at a total loss on that. I don't know. I was going to take him and uh, drive him out through here and uh, hit some of these hot spots, but that's not going to happen. And I don't necessarily want to bring the forestry brush truck all the way over here as well, too, because it's across the map. We'd have a long ways to go. But seeing that the fire is burning out, I think we're in a good spot now. Like, we've got it contained. We've got water supplies. So I think we're able to do this. Nice. Yeah, we've only got a few hot spots left and we'll have it. Yeah, I really kind of feel like once I get the uh, other forestry brush truck over here, the thing would burn out like it would be going. I mean, we could try it. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. You guys ask for forestry stuff. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the uh, forestry brush truck. There we go. See if we can haul booty over here before it burns out. All right, let's get rolling. We may have to off-road this thing, like uh, a, <laughs> drive it in a straight line from point A to point B. We'll see. Uh, there's our fire. Way over there on the other hill across the valley. That's a really cool view. All right, we got the forester truck. Hopefully we can use this to knock out the last little bit. Now I know, I'm almost certain you can pull an attack line off this thing and maybe in being able to do that, there's a supply line as well. 
uh, if we needed to uh, refill it. But you know what? Let's get that off real quick. We don't need that out here in the country. There's no one around. Like literally no one around. So. Yeah, it's still going pretty good back in there. This is the furthest extent that it spread. So this is like the last little area that caught up and it looks like the uh, cliffs are keeping it from spreading down the hill. So that's good at least. Okay, let's uh, get our nozzle here. Nice, all right, let's hit it. There we go, we're having some effect. I don't see this water lasting to uh, get all this put out though. I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, let's get you turned back. Whoa, 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 no, 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 don't flip. Nice. Went out real easy. Oh, we're out of water. I was fixing to say we're out of water. It did glitch for a second, but Got it. Come on, you know you want to go out. We're, we're like limited supply of water, guys. <laughs> you need to go out now. I like a fire, you don't understand. We only have so much water. Sweet, yeah, this is it. This is it, I think we're gonna have it mopped up. I'm honestly kind of uh, relieved a little bit that it burned out on its own because uh, this would have been like, <laughs> I would have had to have taken a break to go get the kids from school. Like this, this thing would have been going forever. All right, one last little bit over here. I hope we have enough water to grab this one as well. Really, we will. Come on. Yes, we did it, guys. We did it. We won in the battle against uh, against the brush fire. We did it. We, this is a lot of fun, but man, they're a lot of work. They're a lot of work for real. Let's see, let's get out of here. And uh, we'll get parked down here by the Quint and we'll call it a day. So we managed to get some of the equipment out. You know, it's, it's another one of those deals where uh, when the fire burns out, it's like, uh, you know, how much time are you gonna spend putting water on a fire and how much time are you gonna spend driving? driving? So hopefully we did a, a healthy balance of the two today. We got quite a few pieces of equipment out here. Uh, we got our engine from uh, Montgomery County, our Quint. Got to do an aerial attack, which gave us a lot of reach. That was actually really cool. Had the uh, forestry service engine, still water brush truck showed up to help. Forestry service brush truck showed up to help. Uh, Stillwater engine 102 down there in the distance helped to contain it on that end and then uh, we use Montgomery County um, tanker as well so uh, not a bad attack this was a lot of fun uh, it always is and I really do appreciate all the uh, comments and suggestions and stuff like that keep them going like I said we're going to be doing some stuff in Brooklyn with uh, the new 214 engine as well as a uh, high-rise fire that's the two that I can think of off the top of my head that people have requested in addition to this one so we'll get to those later this week anyway that's going to do it for this one guys i hope y'all enjoyed if you did please hit that like subscribe ring that bell leave me a comment let me know what you think love all you guys thank you so much for the support and uh, we'll catch you in montgomery county next time peace